Well, happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and welcome to Rick and Kelly's recap of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, episode five. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful time with family and friends, and have a great holiday weekend. We're giving you this as our gift. To you? To you. I thought, a, I thought that's a great gift. <laughs> we could probably do better. But we do uh, hope and encourage you to subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't yet. Apparently, some people are subscribing and getting unsubscribed without their knowledge. Yeah. What's that all about? Um, it's, uh, you know, it's that group. Uh-huh. Also, we that encourage you... That wants the silence. Yes. Well, for that reason, we encourage you to join our Rick and Kelly show on Patreon.com. Because that's behind a paywall. We can say whatever we want. We don't have to worry about getting canceled or silenced or censored. Or, or demonetized. Yeah. Not happening there. And we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of new subscribers in just the last three weeks. So we hope you'll join them and join us. The Rick and Kelly Show on Patreon. So it says join Rumble. We've tried that. It's not as easy. Um, yeah. I... I I like I don't our think, Patreon I don't think, family. I don't, I don't, no, I'm talking about Rumble. Do oh, Rumble. For instead of YouTube? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. We've been, the problem is with that is that we've already established ourselves here. Right. We have 43,000 subscribers and we're growing. Mm -hmm. Before we get to the recap, <clears throat> we're promoting Blue Mean. Oh, yes. My favorite thing. I use it every day. It tightens up your wrinkles and it tightens up your skin. It's like a skin gym all in one. It's got the LED lights. We all know what that does for us. And uh, I love it. The thing is, this isn't, this isn't just an ad. Kelly actually does use the product. I do. I use it every night when I go to bed. I leave it by my bedside table. Mm -hmm. And we're watching The Crown right now, mm -hmm. which is so good. Yeah. And I put my product on my um, skin, or it's called Better Skin. Skin or skin better, skin yeah. better uh -huh. products on, and I I, I put does. a little, I wipe and I, this it says I, put, I wipe a little alcohol on there, like one of those little wipes. It does have a money back guarantee, and I want to share a comment from. We got a lot of comments from customers, from from happy viewers who bought it and love it. This one. Um, from Tanya Taylor 710, she wrote, Kelly, you are gorgeous, and your beautiful skin is the reason I ordered my Blooming months ago. Oh. Now strangers think my two-year-old grandson is my son. <laughs> <laughs> you see? I mean, that is a fantastic endorsement. That's a testimonial. Black Friday sales, $70 off the first 100 people, so it's 79 bucks instead of 150 They do sell out every time we promote it. The first 100 people also get a free ebook about natural facelifting secrets and a chance to win another Blue Mean for free. So yes. if you're among the first 100, you'll buy it, you'll get it at 79 bucks, and you have a chance to win a, a free one that you can then give to somebody else. You know else. what? You can't even buy a bottle of wine. I mean, this you can. Yes. At Ilya. We're going to talk this about that. Great, this is a great uh, gift as well. And it's tasty. Um, and I don't get hangovers with it, which is brilliant. That's why I drink it all the time. Because uh -huh. I don't wake up with a hangover. Yeah. Um, but but you're saying this right here is every girl's, like, wish, right? Like, <laughs> it's every, it's amazing. Yeah. And it's only $79. And it's, like, the perfect gift. You go buy a candle, and it's like two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Like a diptyque, people any of those. Love it. So get yours. First one hundred people, seventy nine bucks. It's bloomingcom slash. I think it's slash. Yeah, bloomingcom slash Rick and Kelly for your special deal on that special product. The show is brought to you by Ilya Wine, as Kelly mentioned. I can't wait for them to open uh, make the champagne. Yeah, they're coming out with a, uh, what do they call it? Not a champagne, but a sparkling... A cava. Sparkling wine is anywhere else other than the Champagne region of France. Yeah. And I think cava, Prosecco is Italian, mm -hmm. and it cava is Spain. Well, if you go to Ilia.com, you can order whatever you like. <clears throat> order your favorite varieties. It's a fantastic wine. The first two bottles are 20% off. If you want to buy three or more, you'll get free shipping. So it's 20% off for the first bottle or the second bottle, and then free shipping for three or more bottles. Anywhere they ship, you'll get it for free right to your door. They also have a wine club. They now deliver to the UK. We hope you'll 
Try Ilya. We know you'll love it, and you'll get it for the holidays. So go get some. I am. T if you guys are asking what I'm taking, I know you guys are probably looking at me. I'm taking my multivitamin. Yeah. I get it from Costco. I'm switching over to Melaleuca, though. Yeah. For my vitamins. But these are my last of them that I have to take. Uh-huh. And, um, and they come in a little package. They come in a package with yeah. my omega-3. It's a diabetic. It says di for diabetes. I have the ratings. Oh, yeah? Yes, from last week's Beverly Hills episode four. And they went back over a million viewers last week. Wow, good for them. They got a point two seven demo and 1,016,000 live viewers. Wow. So it is possible for a reality show to get over a million viewers in a week. Wow. Now, isn't that funny how I said something about to Andy Cohen, how it went down to 700,000? We've uh -huh. always, always competed with uh, Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills. Always. I mean, when I was on, when you five years I was mean... on, head to head, yeah. same numbers, yeah. always a million and over. Mm -hmm. Always. It was close. But these aren't delay numbers. These are the real numbers. Right. A million. Right. And so you're going to go and tell me that, <laughs> well, that it's County. the delay numbers for Orange County? Orange County no. is hurting this year. They, hurting. They, they, and they're going to keep the whole cast again? That was a rumor. I am shocked they want to keep Tamarat around and Heather Dubrow. I, 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 they opt for nothing. And no, Gina. Well, we're about to, we're, we're about to, we're not going to talk about that anymore. We're going to talk about Beverly Hills. I forgot one other oh, thing I wanted to mention. I don't even want to, I can't even watch We're doing that. a Black Friday sale on our Rick and Kelly show and Daily Smash swag. These hats are five bucks off, $20. And the sweatshirts, which are beautiful and soft. That's, why should I put this on? Oh, you could. I can't because I don't have anything on underneath. Uh-oh. Uh, these are knocked, knocked down from 50 to 40 for our Black Friday holiday special. And if you want to get one of each... Fifty-five. That's ten bucks off. So they're cozy. They're comfy. These, these sweatshirts are really, really comfortable. I love them. They're I wear soft. them all the time. Yeah, you do. People go, "Who's Rick and Kelly?" <laughs> We're like us. <laughs> uh, like, is it a so TV show? Go oh to RickKellyShow.com and get yours, and you can get my book autographed too. It's on the same site, RickKellyShow.com. Uh, okay, so the show. Overall impressions of this week's show, and pretty pretty good, I thought. I thought it was entertaining. Yes, yeah. I I did. My friend Bree, our patron, mm -hmm. I, she made my mom's potato salad for Thanksgiving. Yeah, which is yesterday's show. Right. She said it was fantastic. Yeah. And she was like, "Why do you like Beverly Hills so much? It's so boring." I don't think it's boring. I'm like, I love it. It opens with Kyle at Sutton's house, and we saw it at the end of last episode, and they came back to it, and Kyle doesn't want to answer any questions. And the two are like battling. Yeah. And then Kyle just gets up and takes off. Right. And then we go to Erica's house and her mom arrives. Just 18 years older than Erica. My mom is like my sister and I can only take her in a few doses. I can barely stand her. And then she's like, I haven't talked to her since she hung up on me. And her mom's like, yo, you hung up on me. <laughs> And she goes, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, and then we see Garcelle at home, uh, her son, Jade. But is isn't that funny, the dynamics between mother and daughter? Yeah, because you said you could totally relate. Yeah. Because, you know, my mom will say something, and it feels like it's a dig. Yeah. And it gets me mad. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I'll say something to put a dig, and then she gets mad at me. Yeah. And then, you know, it's weird how mother and daughters can, like, really get their feelings hurt with each other. And they're like, it's weird. What is that? I don't know. Do you get like that with your mother? Well, it's different. I'm her son. I'm not her daughter. I know. But do you get irritated by the things that she <laughs> yes, says? Yes, of course. Yeah. I do. Yeah. But your mom was here for four months. My mom lived with me for, like, ten years. Yeah. I can handle her. And I like her, But actually. you did say when you were watching Erica interact with her mom, you're like, I can relate. Well, everybody can. Every mm -hmm. mother-daughter has issues with their mom sometimes. I mean, we all, you fight with your husband, you fight with your brother and sister, you, bright, you, know, you fight with people sometimes. With that family. You're, that with family that you... And now family's getting together for Thanksgiving. There's going to be some fireworks. What? Not at our table. <laughs> at other huh? tables. All these families getting together for Thanksgiving. There's always going to be fireworks, right? Oh, so I don't, unless you talk politics. Yeah. If, we, if we were at your family's house. Oh. 
<laughs> there would be fireworks. Well, they don't invite us, so um, maybe that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Jade is cooking at Garcelle's house, and she talks about how parenting is so difficult, and she really wants to be more than just a parent. And you were like, no, you don't. Well, no. She So, you know, Garcelle, I love her. I think she's awesome. I think she's a great parent. I understand where she wants... She had, you know, a bad relationship with her mother. She, you know, I feel like she wants to be close to her sons. Mm -hmm. She wants to be close. But those kids are teenagers. They're right. punks right now. Like, yeah. all of them are. I mean, Jolie's even grounded. But, like, I, I, you can't be friends with your children. You're mm -hmm. the parent first, not their friend. Right. You're friends with them when they get older. And when the 15-year-old says, oh, I don't really need your parenting anymore, that's... That's nonsense. And then he said he wanted to have his girlfriend stay the night. I, I mean, I don't understand how parents allow that to happen. <laughs> I don't get that. Like, what is Not that? at that age. Not even at 18. She told a funny story about get, getting caught with a boy in her car. I mean, not if you're under your house, under your roof. But, I right. mean, if they're in college, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> you do, don't you? Yeah, it happened to me. <laughs> um, Crystal's house... I didn't understand that whole thing with Crystal and the Revenge of the Nerds husband uh -huh. and the, you know, her, her, her brother, brother looks like, I'm sorry, and I love gays. They're all my friends. The, I think the, the, the brother's a little fruity. Mm -hmm. um, not that there's anything wrong with that. Not that there's that. anything wrong with it, but... But the fact that he was crying two years after he broke up with his girlfriend, he cried. There's more two than years that, later. okay? You don't cry after a two year after breaking up two years. I'm sorry, you don't. Something else is going on. Something else is going on there. There's something else. Well, they were back and forth, uh, Crystal and her husband, and um, I'm sorry, I do. Herself. I like Chris. I, I I know I met Crystal. I think she's a nice person. I, mm -hmm. Me too. I I I they don't show much of her. No, they don't. At all. Yeah. I mean, the, most people have zero idea that she owns a water company. She's a, like a CEO of a major water company. Owns it. That's sold at Costco. Yeah. Coco Water. That's her company. You'd never know it watching this TV show. Why wouldn't they celebrate the fact that she is a business owner? And and and, and Dorit? Okay, we've got to talk about Dorit. Is Dorit next? Um, let's see what happens next. Uh, well, let's see. <laughs> what, uh, Crystal... And well, I did that. All right, so Sutton goes with Jennifer Tilly <clears throat> to see her horse. <clears throat> I thought it was cool. I she take was... it back. Jennifer Tilly looks damn good for her age. She I, looked I good thought... this week. She looked good this week. Yeah. Uh, and she was talking to Jennifer Tilly about Kyle being different, something's wrong, are the rumors true? Uh, we go back to Erica saying she and her mom are only good for about 24 hours, and then they start picking at each other. Well, I don't understand. Okay, Listen, Erica Jane mm -hmm. said, I, you know, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to floor the house. She spends, she's wearing Fendi jackets. She's, and listen, I did too, but I had a husband that made money and sold, you know, a lot of the company and I, I had money and I had a chunk. Uh -huh. Like, she, I don't think she has a chunk, but she's spending, she's wearing those Fendi jackets. She's wearing, getting glam She's living in a one bedroom, oh, like, like a guest, guest house. house. Yeah, she makes a million dollars a year. You guys, that girl, the way she has a burn rate like that, she yeah. will never, ever, ever, ever. She needs be to change able... her uh, her spending habits. Is what yes. you're saying. So you asked about Dorit. So we do get to Dorit here, where Kel Kyle is telling Dorit that she had a bad conversation with Sutton, and then Sutton tells Garcelle the same thing. So Kyle is confiding in Dorit. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, her one bedroom like guest house is so ugly. Yeah, she's got these little trinkets up on the side of her kitchen. <laughs> I didn't notice that. That were like, where did you even buy? Like, you dress like a million. It's like these girls dress like a million bucks, but yeah. their their furniture oh. and their house stuff is nasty. Like Lisa Rinna. Like it's like that. Yeah. The only one that's got beautiful houses is uh, Sutton and Kyle. Kyle was going to say Kyle's house looks nice. Kyle's house is up, above and beyond. So the, this is what bothered me about Dorit. They all they all are headed to Beauty and Essex for Garcelle's screening of her. Oh, I think Garcelle's house is cute too. It's a cute house. Who's Garcelle's? House. Oh yeah, yeah. So they're all going to Beauty and Essex for this screening, and Dorit is in the car, and she finds out there's going to be a hundred people there, and she starts freaking out. 
because it triggers her if she's not mentally prepared. And I'm like, oh, here we go. She's going to make this about her now. She's like this. She reminds me of my friend Lisa. Yeah. Like the way her mannerisms are and everything. Uh-huh. She reminds me of her. Like, and like Lisa acts just like that. Like she talks and looks and dresses and her body and everything. My friend yeah. Lisa <laughs> looks just like her. She reminds me so much Dorit. And she makes it all about her. Yeah. And it's sure like freaking out when she's, they're getting ready for the film. Like, just stop it. Listen, I have problems with crowds too. Yeah. I have to mentally be prepared for that. But I'm not going to make. It like it. This is Garcelle's thing, right? This isn't. This, is her big this event. isn't about her mental state, right? Just suck it up. Yeah, just suck it up. You don't have to like. You do it for her. Seek sympathy from everyone around you because right. you're having a hard time. This she Dorit is like watching paint dry to me. <laughs> I I don't know who's worse, her or Teddy Mellencamp. I honestly like. Boring. Boring, like boring, like well, watching paint dry. <laughs> And her storyline is that she has PTSD. That's her storyline. It's so hard to watch. That yeah. part I don't like. Well, <laughs> Garcelle's kids. Oh, my God. And those kids are adorable. They go to talk to Erica. And I guess it was Jax uh-huh. who went up to Erica, which is amazing. Because Erica was hammered at the last season and started Told dropping the F-bombs. F-bomb. And, yeah. Get the F out of here. Listen, I think Erica was jo- totally joking with him. Well, she was wasted. Yeah, I think she was wasted. I don't think she was mean, be, trying to be mean-spirited. Yeah. Like, you don't talk to a kid like that. No. Uh, but so I guess he was Jax, like 14. So if they go to Beauty in Essex and Jax goes, um, he mans up. And mm-hmm. he goes and he talks to her. Like, and then Garcelle goes, well... It would have been nice if a grown woman would have said, I'm sorry to him first instead of Jax. But that just shows a lot of character on that kid. Yeah, it does. She's raising those kids And that's what Erica said. I give her credit for giving the kid credit. And Erica did apologize to him. Yeah. That was the first time I've heard her like do a full on, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Like she really did apologize. Yes. Which she needed to do. Right. But I, I also understand Garcelle's point. It would have been nice if Erica immediately, as soon as she saw him, went up to him. She might not have said a word to him unless he came up to her, which he did. She doesn't understand empathy. <laughs> That's right. Remember? She, last week she told her therapist that. I, I don't know how to have empathy. She, I, the therapist is something like, um, you need to find have empathy. And she goes, I don't know how to find empathy what is because that? I'm a narcissist <laughs> and I don't have empathy. But a narcissist means that they just care about themselves and they don't know how to have um, put people, their cells in other people's shoes. Then Denise Richards shows up. This is what, unbelievable, this is what I don't understand, okay? So when I got fired, Shannon wanted me to go meet up with her and Emily at the... Quiet Woman. At the Quiet Woman. And they told her, they, they, Bravo and Evolution, probably Evolution, not Bravo, Evolution, because they're the ones who are do- the making, they're the, the producing the show, said, absolutely not. Kelly is not allowed. And she, Shannon did not know how to tell me. So I then I guess it was like a year later, Shannon finally fessed up and said, yeah, they didn't want you in, in, in the scene at all. They didn't want you there. I go, first of all, I'm not going to go on that show. Right. Even though because she didn't know how to tell me, I was I if you're go. not getting paid. If I'm not getting paid, I'm not going on this show. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it would be smart to have some inkling in their brain to have me on to, to go against uh, uh, Tamara, okay? Yeah. And I'm friends with Vicky and I'm friends with Shannon, but for whatever reason, so then oh then uh, our our producer Thomas Kelly gets the boot, okay? Mm-hmm. Then he calls me and I said, hey, is it true? Because he was producing that year i go is it true that um shannon told me that i that you guys didn't want me to be you know make a cameo i wasn't gonna go do it anyway but and he goes yeah they absolutely do not they hate your guts and i'm like wow but they weren't it didn't stop them from using you in highlights from pre- previous seasons they've showed you multiple episodes both of the last two years yeah i'm like what does that tell you that they hate me for what for what? For having an opinion on 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 COVID? 
I, I'm, I'm like, I'm like. It's remarkable to me that I think, all of the do you women think who that's were racist? Who, lo who lost their jobs with Bravo and are, were invited back for multiple shows. There is a long list of them, and most of them were far less popular than you yeah. are. Continue to be, and it just wasn't. Blows Denise Richard, my mind wasn't. Yeah, is it blowing your they're mind? Not, Inviting you back of all people, like you, I you should be go, at the top would, of their list. I wouldn't go back unless I was getting paid. Well, I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't want. You I to. wouldn't go have them use me for my likeness for free. No, f that. Um. Okay. Well. No. So then let, let's talk about all about the tea. Oh yeah. So they could use any number of publications when they kept showing like the rumors about Kyle and Mauricio, and who do they quote? Which headline do they use? But all about the tea. Which so what happened was Sutton goes, Kyle goes up to Sutton, uh, to her house and they try to have a conversation and she's like, name him, name him. Remember that yeah. whole debacle? Well, she's like, they come in and she's like, well, what about you, Kyle? What about you? <laughs> and then she's like, and, and then she talks like this and she tries to get like all cute and I named my horse. Santos and it's like, <laughs> she, like you're not cute lady like you're like he, that's like, a very good impression that's exactly how she she tries to act and she goes and then I got my horse Santos I paid forty six thousand dollars for my horse and it's like I got a new boyfriend <sighs> and so <laughs> she's she you know what she's she's she she, she she tries to pick. She was poking uh, Kyle. She was poking Kyle. She but, was poking you know, her. And, and I just want to play devil's advocate. She wants, you know, she's trying to, if, if you're friends with someone, I know they're not really friends. That's what they kept saying on the Orange County Housewives with, with Gina, uh -huh. Emily. and other, Well, you're supposed to be my friend. <laughs> you're supposed to be my friend. Well, aren't you supposed to be my they're not, none of them are friends on that stupid show. Yeah. And either is Sutton and either is Kyle. But she They're wasn't giving friends. her any personal information. So she's like, and she's accusing Sutton of being a certain way. And Sutton's like, well, what about you? Like, and you're acting weird and you're not telling me why. So like, if they were friends, they would be sharing. And she doesn't want to share anything. And that's well, the thing that Crystal Minkoff said. And, and somebody else told me this and I can't remember who that who was Who doesn't that want show. to share anything? Kyle? That they are all actors and yeah. actresses yeah. on this show. So you don't know what to believe and right. what not to believe. And they really don't share much of their lives. Yeah. They, they're, they, you know. So guarded. They're guarded. And you can see that she didn't want to share anything with anyone, if, mm -hmm. you know. And then she tried to turn it around. Sutton tried to turn it around like, I know why she's mad at me. It's because I'm friends. You're like with, with Kathy Hilton. I, and oh, then, yeah. And then, she goes, and then Sutton goes, I know why you're mad because you treat me like a little sister. And Kyle goes, don't flatter yourself. <laughs> don't flatter yourself doing that. Yeah. And so. Basically, they, they hate each other. Right. They're the opposite of friends. Yeah. That's what it appears to me. And then. Uh, they, well, so so that ended badly at the because they were at the party and they started talking again. Yeah, and Sutton she and looked Kyle. and and Kyle looked like a million bucks. She yeah. had this great, beautiful suit on with her sixteen thousand dollar Orange Kelly bag, with uh, uh, which I don't even like those Hermes bags. I think they're for look like old ladies. I don't I don't get that. Yeah, I don't understand them. I I know they go up in value. I think they're uglier than sin. That's just my opinion. Okay. And so she's, but her, she had a hat on. She looked like great. And Sutton looked like she was like going to go ride a horse with her little red bow in the, or her little black bow in the back with a, with her yeah, blazer yeah. on. That was a weird outfit. That was a weird. And then she wore this chunky, chunky diamond, gaudy, ugliest. It looked like she got it at Claire's. Ugly, the ugliest necklace. I mean, that girl dresses the worst of the worst of the worst. I did like How, that. Just goes to show you can have all the money in the world, yeah, and still not have style. But I did like she was driving a uh, a four door Ford pickup truck. Yeah, I don't know if she that's hers. Of course, that's hers. Oh, well, it's cool. Well, she's she's I, it's not as cool as our Dodge Ram, and then and then uh, uh, Dorit and Garcelle rehash their fight. And it wasn't that exciting. And then they show the coming attractions. 
and Denise Richards is back next week, and so is... Oh, that's what I'm saying. Denise so, Richards was back this uh -huh. week. They showed yep, her. Yep, And then they show her again. She's coming back next week. And she was like this. She made that kind of like waste. I don't know what the she hell she looked was wasted. I don't know. It was a coming attraction at the end of the show. She looked wasted. Yeah. Um, but they also showed. I a wonder. Clip. If they, I wonder if they pay her. Hold on. Do you they, think they pay her? Um. I'll, yes. I'll ask. I Shannon. think they do. I, I think they did. I think they did too. I think they did. They have her come back on. Yeah. I think they paid her. Yeah. Why else would she do it? Why would she do it for nothing? She wouldn't. You just answered my question. But then. They show a coming attraction clip of Kyle's alleged new girlfriend. She's going to be on the show next week. Yeah. Or the next episode. Which I was I was like, oh, okay, here we go. Maybe you that's why. The fake girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. She's not even, she's not. You don't girlfriend. believe it? No. Okay. Sorry. Well, Jeff there you have it. Um, <laughs> that was our show. That was our recap. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, we hope you did too. And we hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Don't forget your blue mean. Yeah. And your swag. Pick that up for Christmas. And your swag. It's coming around the corner. You want one of these hats. It's going to be Christmas time. This is what I wanted to wear a hat. Oh. I just had a massage today. You did. This girl Jasmine came over to my house. I think, was it three hours? It was a, you were she in worked a long on me. time. She worked on me for, like, for three hours. It was amazing. I got work done and I was like, uh, where's Kelly? Where's my beautiful wife? We have a, a swarm of, um, what are they called here? Termites? Termites. Termites are swarming at the They're beach. They're swarming at the beach. They were like, it's like the birds with... <laughs> with bugs. With bugs. It's the Bad. most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I've I lived know, on the awful. beach for since... Well, I lived in San Francisco. I lived on the water. And then yeah. I lived on the beach for since 2010 to... Uh -huh. I've I'm never seen him like that. I've never I've seen I've lived him. in plenty of beach houses. I've never seen him like that. I have never have either. It's disgusting. All right. All right. No, we're going to go talk to the exterminator. <laughs> See you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Working.